on the flip flop. Welcome everyone, or bienvenidos to Spanish with Ron. It's come to my attention that a lot of people in the Fredonia area don't know Spanish. A let's ton of Taco Bell menu. So today, I'm here to teach you how to speak some Spanish. So the first word we're going to learn here today is hello, how are you? Hello, how are you is a basic English introductory phrase. I'm going to teach you how to say it in Spanish so you can knock their socks off. The proper way to say it in Spanish is... And that's how you say hi, how are you in Spanish. Our next phrase is... Hi, I'd like some fries with that. The proper way to say, hi, I'd like some fries with that, please, is En serio, Enrique, te voy a matar si no me da el dinero. Mi familia depende de ese dinero. Voy a llamar a la policía y te voy a matar a todito. Te lo juro, te lo juro. A tu abuelita lo voy a matar. Lo voy a chocar con un autobús y lo voy a matar a tu abuelita. Te lo dije, coño. And that's how you say, I want some fries with that in Spanish. The next phrase we're going to learn here today is, can I have some white cloth? Now, if you were getting drunk all summer, like I wasn't, because I'm a minor, then you would definitely need this when you go down to Cancun and get drunk with all your homies and shit, you know what I'm saying? So, can I have some white cloth in Spanish is, voy a agarrar tu hermanita, y lo voy a meter la cabeza abajo, abajo. Y lo voy a jorcar, y lo voy a dejar ahí. Ella va a estar gritando, ¡Para, por favor, para! Y lo voy a dejar la cabeza ahí, para que se ahogue, para que se muere. Y tú me vas a ver los ojos, tú me vas a mirar los ojos a mí, al hombre que mató a tu familia entero. Te lo dije el primer día, que yo quería los dinero, y tú no me lo diste. Yo le dije una sola vez, tú no me lo dijiste. Pero está bien, déjalo. Que cuando, yo te, cuando tú me ves a mí, encima de ti, con un cuchillo, y los granos míos afuera, y te lo voy a meter los granos en la boca, tú vas a saber quién es el nombre de Ronaldo. And that's how you say, I want some white clothes in Spanish. So the last phrase we're going to learn here today is goodbye. Now, goodbye in Spanish is a very simple, one-worded word. The way to say goodbye in Spanish is... En serio, te voy a matar a la familia. Te lo digo, por favor, créeme que te lo digo. Que voy a matar a tu familia entera. Por favor, voy a, voy a ir a todas las mujeres de tu familia. Y lo voy a matar. Después, después, cuando le encuentran la policía y te ponen adentro, te hacen así y te ponen adentro bajo el piso, voy a sacarme y voy a hacer pipí encima todito de ustedes. Y después, después que lo mato todito y mato a tu familia entera, tu entire generation. Welcome to the Taco Bell. You know, two for one chalupa. It's pretty good. Hi, I'm Emily, and you're watching Fredtown USA. Hello, I'm Alex, and you're watching Fredtown USA. Hi, I'm Susan, and you're watching Fredtown USA. Does this look like someone who would be Pep Pep? The other day, I was drumming while this guy Paul McCartney played the bassy do. Do you know him? Of course I do. He did the bad The Beatles with us. Oh, uh, well, I have a pretty hard time seeing over me symbols, you know. I must have missed it. I'm rather short. He's better the bad longer than you even. 
You know, me symbols often get in the way of things I would really like to see. You miss a lot being Ringo, you know. Hey guys, it's me, George Harrison, your bandmate in the Beatles. Hello, Hello George. George. I have me guitar on me and I'm quite keen on playing something for the upcoming album, you know. I do have me guitar on me. Seems like we have too many guitars, you could probably give yours a rest. But if I don't play me guitar for too long, it starts to gently weep. Say, that gives me an idea. Guitars can't weep, George. Are you going daft? I think I would like to write a song for this album. You know, John, I consider you my best friend in the Beatles. Well, that's very kind of you, George. Hey guys, it's me, Paul McCartney, everyone. Hello, bass player for the Beatles. Hello, Hello Paul. Paul. Who is this guy? I seem to have forgotten my bass at home. Will that be a problem? Of course it will be, Paul. We're recording an album. Well, I could just do the bum bum bums with my mouth. Just for today, you know. That will never work, Paul. And you are late to boot. Well, I was in line at Starbucks. Get myself a frappuccino. This is why everyone thinks you're second best in the band and not first. Like me. I'm tied for first with John. Right, John? Oh, you're third, George. That means I'm the one who is tied for first with John, then. The only reason you're in this band is to make me and Paul look better. Who's Paul? Hello, everybody. Mac is back. This is Painting with Mac number two. We're going to paint something special to everybody in western New York right now. New York City. So, let's get started. We're going to paint the skyline. The most important thing in the skyline is a line. Let's paint it. It, uh, it's slightly green, just like New York City. Fantastic. That's how you start every painting, with a line. What's, what's a city? Got some buildings. You remember that line, that's my catchphrase, all right. We're gonna paint some big old buildings, big old high rises, skyscrapers, towers, you know, the whole shebang. Bang, boom, bing, baby. Everything's green, just like in Manhattan. I tried to start painting people twice now, but fucking PAs keep on interrupting me. Those pieces of all right, let's keep painting. Let's finish this guy. This guy's name is Bob. He loves to c I don't have any white, so his No Not November is gonna be No Not Orange. Bam! Oh my god. He can't stop c See, this is all New York City is, is green skylines and orange c This is blasting it everywhere. All right, let's draw another building. It's gonna be bigger this time. Maybe it's gonna be a circle. That looks terrible. I don't know, what does that look like? A taco? Kinda looks like a tampon. Uh, it kinda looks like a chip. Let's draw some more people. This guy's tall. He's a Knicks fan. He wants to kill himself. <laughs> Hates his wife. He wants a Toyota Tercel. Third gear doesn't work. He's just depressed. He's got a horrible life. He's got Tim's on though. That makes him feel better sometimes. Everybody knows at the top of the tallest building in New York City, there's a big apple. And there's also garbage everywhere, because it's New York City! Garbage! Let's make the garbage joke again. That's a garbage bag. We're gonna draw another famous landmark. This here is the egg. Next to the egg, it's the Statue of Liberty. Oh my god. She's seen better days. 
They say that this is the fire that keeps the city burning. It's actually Rudy Giuliani. If you look west, you can see Chris Christie's badass. <laughs> Alright, but she's not going to be holding whatever dumb book she has. She's going to be holding a Garfield book. All about Garfield. What a lazy cat. I love that guy. She looks uh, pretty unhappy. And I know why. I know exactly why. It's because she doesn't have her crown. It's not orange in real life, but, you know, it's fine. That's the Statue of Liberty. Looks just like it, don't it? Don't it? The people that don't pay me enough and cause me to drink ask me to paint King Kong. I guess I'll do that. How do you draw a monkey? Cut this out. You could even go down to Times Square. If you ever wanted to see Elmo and Luigi argue on the phone about child support payments, this is the place for you. That's Elmo, and that's Luigi, oh, this guy, it's got a little bit of green in there. Wahoo! Next up, we're going to draw New Jersey from the distance. We're going to go here, look at that. That's New Jersey here. It's on fire from all the trash burning constantly. If you ever wanted to get killed in a strip mall, go to New Jersey. Or get run over by a soccer mom on a Range Rover in Montclair. Beautiful. Let's put a signature on it. Voila. Like any good artist, make sure to put a signature on your work. That was painting with Mac too. Please never come back. 